Hi everyone, this is Phil Mazza, and I'm going to be reviewing uh, the course syllabus for HR MMIS 430-730. The syllabus that I'm going to be reviewing is the syllabus for 430. Please keep in mind the 730 syllabus is pretty much going to be the same, but it will have some additional assignments. And the same when I give you a quick overview of the uh, Canvas uh, class as well. And you're going to see on my screen to the left, I have a Word document with the syllabus, and on the right, I have Canvas. So let's take a look and start first at the core um, with the course syllabus. For this class, for HRM MIS 430-730, we have 19 students. Five students are online only. So that means 14 students will rotate between live and remote classes. Our classroom is going to be, as you will see on the course outline, Riley Hall, room 445. We meet just once weekly, evening 530 to 830. I will hold periodic virtual office hours using Jitsi. Of course, if anyone needs to meet with me virtually, uh, they can email me and we'll set something up by appointment. As always, uh, many students know I'm very accessible via email. There is a textbook for this course and it is required and it is listed on the course syllabus. Also on the syllabus and per my last video, I did mention about system requirements and you will see that I have listed the system requirements that you will need for your laptop or desktop and whether it's Windows or Mac and of course the internet connection that you will need. In the next section that you see highlighted nature of this course, um, it goes into kind of the unusual, unique circumstances that we're now under due to the virus. Again, we're going to meet live on rotating weeks. We do have some students that will not be meeting live. They'll be online only, uh, and we will see some details about that in a second. Live classes are going to require physical distancing and face masks and indeed the classroom itself and where the desks and chairs are situated will ensure that that occurs. Something that is unique that there will be no food or drink allowed in the classrooms. Later in this uh, course syllabus I do say you can have food and drink in the classrooms but this paragraph supersedes anything that falls later in the syllabus so there is no food or drink in the classrooms. Also something that's unique, when we are live in the classroom, students will have to sit in the same seats, um, and that's important. I will actually be taking attendance and noting where students sit. Uh, it's important for contact tracing in case something does occur. On those weeks where we do not meet live, classes will be remote or virtual, and it will be in an asynchronous way. And what asynchronous means, quite frankly, is this. There are no Zoom meetings. You don't have to be there at a certain day or time. I will open up the virtual classroom Sunday night. It will stay open. You can um, enter it based upon your schedule. Keep in mind, however, the assignments do have specific due dates. So you'll want to make sure you understand that. As I continue to scroll down, you'll see kind of basic course syllabus stuff. And for those students who have taken my courses in the past, uh, this should be very familiar to you. Again, the virtual or asynchronous classroom is going to have two components, immerse and apply. The immerse component, you'll read through documents and there may be uh, media files that you will have to watch, listen to, and then apply probably an assessment or an assignment. For this course, there are going to be three assignments, case studies, weekly journal, and classroom simulations. Um, whether you're 430 or 730, all of this applies. For the 730 folks, you will have more case studies. I think you'll have the same amount of weekly journals and classroom simulations. So you'll see the point breakdown there.
Also in the course syllabus, I give you um, a detailed breakdown as to how I like each assessment to be submitted. And in fact, on Canvas, I've given you some sample documents to follow. And then we come to the schedule. So you will see um, the first week that classes start, we are live. So we are going to be live Monday night. The next week, we are remote. So that means the session will be asynchronous. Now, let's take a quick look at Canvas and see how that is set up. Again, this is 430. The Canvas for 730 will have a similar look. The schedule, very similar to what you saw on the syllabus. Live remote, live remote. And when we are remote, for those students who are live remote students, these links will be propagated for the asynchronous virtual class. All your assignments are here. Now for those students who are online only, you will click here on Canvas and it will take you to your schedule, which is the same except you have asynchronous virtual links each week. And again, they will be propagated as they come up. Now, what will an asynchronous session look like? Here is our first one, Understanding HRM. And these will all have the same look and feel. There will be an introduction, a reminder of the format, in this case, a PowerPoint to review, three videos to watch and listen to, and of course week number one, no assignments. So the first week, I'm just getting everyone accustomed to how this will work in terms of the virtual classroom. The second week, we are live. So those live remote students will be in the classroom. Those students who are online only will be here in the asynchronous classroom. Here a spreadsheet to review, some additional videos, and a link to the assignment, the weekly journal. Now, in some cases, I will be adding videos and maybe documents to read. So, in a nutshell, you have um, everything that is required as we get closer to the start of the semester. I will make Canvas Live, and then you'll be able to go in and take a look at some things. The asynchronous virtual class pages will not be live. They will only be live um, when I make them live based upon the schedule. If you have any questions, of course, you can email me. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.